Hey, another lawsuit in the city of Denver. The most recent is from a former inmate who just filed an excessive force case claiming a Denver officer put handcuffs on him so tight he suffered nerve damage. 7 News reporter Jennifer Kovaleski is live at the jail. And Jen, this one cop has gotten a lot of excessive force complaints and he's still on the job. Eric, Officer Sean Miller has a long history of excessive force. He's accused in at least 17 cases with more than 40 complaints in 10 years on the force. And he's already cost taxpayers. Officer Sean Miller was first caught on camera in 2010. A confrontation with this disabled woman who hesitated before letting him into her apartment lobby. Then in 2013, surveillance video shows him putting a restaurant owner in handcuffs, even though the owner is the one who called police in the first place. The latest excessive force complaint was filed in federal court by former inmate Kenneth Sartner. In 2013, Miller arrested Sartner, and according to the lawsuit, he put handcuffs on him so tight he suffered a chip fracture. A doctor later diagnosed nerve damage to both wrists, which he had to have surgery to repair. The lawsuit says defendant Miller has a long and frequent history of use of excessive force, which demonstrates that he enjoys hurting persons whom he arrests. 7 News reviewed Miller's internal affairs files in February and found of the 39 investigated complaints, 17 cited excessive force. Now we checked and Miller is still on the force, working as an officer at DIA. Reporting live in Denver tonight, Jennifer Kowaleski, 7 News. Now, the city has already settled two lawsuits involving Miller, totaling more than a million dollars. In the most recent lawsuit, six Denver sheriff's deputies are named, plus a nurse. The plaintiff, Zartner, was convicted of robbery and given a suspended 10-year prison sentence and put on probation. 